when we are voicing for women and uh, what is that beti bachao beti badao ha beti bachao beti badao and ha <laughs> for this they are approving whereas when i said that women have been given voting rights you didn't approve <laughs> I, when I said such an important historic event that took place, none of you approved, and for this you are <laughs> so rejoiced. <laughs> Not India. I am co just quoting uh, a scheme of the government. That too, clarifying with my Because friend. Almost all the schemes are announced only in Hindi. No, no, no side talks. <laughs> No, nowadays all the schemes are in Hindi. We are not able to say that even. That's why I'm seeking the assistance of my colleague. That is all right. For example, you say that girl children must be encouraged as the scheme uh, earlier I said, beti bacha, beti bada, something like that. But girl children, girl child, as soon as they are born, they are killed. Even now, some mothers, you know, mothers are said to be most sentimental, who shows, who can even sacrifice their life for their child. But because it is a girl child, they throw it on bitter in the dustbin. It happens many places because they say, if I go with a girl child, my mother-in-law will punish me. My husband will drive out of the house. So that thing also must be changed. Next, Sri Tiruchi Shivaji. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chairman, sir. Sir, I am very happy to participate in the. Debate that too, a bill introduced by Rakesh, Mr. Rakesh Singha, who is an active participant in the private members business. I appreciate that, sir, because nowadays the interest shown towards private members business with the resolution or bill is declining. And moreover, most of the Fridays are being adjourned, showing this reason or that reason. And uh, as we are all aware that whereas Many other countries uh, have enacted laws by way of private member bills, but India has got very little uh, to that credit. And we all know that my bill was passed in the year 2015 after 46 years. That too in one house. In the other house, it was not able to get through. So importance to the private member bill or resolution has to be given very much by the government. It should not be an egoistic approach that only the government should bring in legislative business and not the members. Many members are very much informed and interested in issues that are concerned, which the government may not take into consideration or not wish to take into consideration. And Mr. Rakesh Singha, my esteemed colleague, is very clever in bringing some of his uh, um, inborn uh, thirst. And ideologies in some way or other, and of course, this is a very good bent, sir. I chose to speak on this for two reasons. Number one, today is April first. Worldwide, it is called April Fool's Day. But, sir, I would like to say that it was 1921, April first, when the Justice Party, our parent party, was ruling the Madras presidency. That government gave voting right to women first ever. Even U.S. gave voting right to women in only 1940. So in 1921 itself, on April 1st, our parent party, the Justice Party, gave rights to the women, and I want to register a record, put it on record. So I think everyone should appreciate because when we are voicing for women, and uh, what is that, Betty? Bachao, Betty, Badao. Ah, Betty, Bachao, Betty, Badao. And <laughs> for this they are approving whereas when i said that women have been given voting rights you didn't approve i <laughs> when i said such an important historic event that took place none of you approved and for this you are <laughs> so rejoiced <laughs> not india i'm co just quoting uh, a scheme of the government that to clarifying with my Because friend almost all the schemes are announced only no, in no, hindi no side talks <laughs> No, nowadays all the schemes are in Hindi. We are not able to say that even. That's why I'm seeking the assistance of my colleague. That is all right. Uh, please, no, no, please, he, can, please. he knows that, <laughs> sir. <laughs> As uh, Rakesh Singhji in his uh, objection reasons have very clearly pointed out that very shortly India is going to be the number one. 
in the world to have the richest, largest populated, pop, populous country. Sir, one thing we are not able to be rejoiced by way of achieving the first place is only this. Because of the increase in population, when the area, geographical area is remains the same, whereas the population is increasing, many issues crop up along with that. When we compare the European countries, how they are flourishing, because their resources are more, but their population is very less, their living area is vast. Where, see, uh, in, uh, compared to Australia and India, see, one-sixth of the uh, population they are having, but their area is six times than us. Resources are also so much. So in future, when the population may go up, the government, any government of that day, have to face a lot. And as much as the population increases, the issues will also increase. But my apprehension or my doubt is, states which are implementing family planning policy rightly in the manner it should be are being punished. For example, the Tamil Nadu government has successfully implemented family planning policy and we have been appreciated and applauded in every way. Since uh, our government, the DMK government came into power, Dr. Kalangar, Anna, and then now Mrs. Stalin, we concentrate on that. You know, by way of that, earlier we had 41 legis uh, uh, members of parliament constituencies. But now after the 1971 delimitation, ours was reduced to 39 because of the population. Because we successfully implemented a scheme which is uh, need of the hour, our state was punished. So also the revenue shares on various headings are being given to some states where they say the population is more and here we are being victimized or deprived of what we genuinely due to. So this has to be addressed. Just because saying that population has to be restricted for uh, understanding the issues that may face. But you have to appreciate and pad those states, any government, if they are doing it successfully. But rather, as I said, not only the number of uh, parliament constituencies have come down, even the shares or the schemes which are being, funds are allocated has reduced to the state of Tamil Nadu. It should not be. You should give an incentive to those states. Only then the policy will be implemented. It is not, as Mr. Sarkar said, to should target at any particular section. Yes, that apprehension is also there. Because even uh, a bill that has to be introduced today, we had our own apprehension. Good that it has not been introduced. It is aiming at something else. No section of this people of section of the people of this country should have a fear that they will be victimized, they will be punished, or they will be deprived of their own rights. So the bill may appear to be telling something good, but under current it should not harm any way. So I don't mean any section of the people one side. And other thing, again, I emphasize, I think the discussion when it continues and those who may participate in the debate later will also, uh, I think, agree with what I say. The states realizing the future of this country. For example, you say that girl children must be encouraged as the scheme uh, earlier I said, beti bacha, beti bada, something like that. But girl children, girl child, as soon as they are born, they are killed. Even now. Some mothers, you know, mothers are said to be most sentimental, who shows, who can even sacrifice their life for their child. But because it is a girl child, they throw it on bitter, in the dustbin. It happens many places. Because they say, if I go with a girl child, my mother-in-law will punish me, my husband will drive out of the house. So that thing also must be changed. So schemes for girl children must be more in every way, by way of education and employment and giving them more opportunities will enhance. In Tamil Nadu, we are giving so much of schemes to the girl children for studying them, for marriage, for employment. We are giving even reservations to them in employment. I have even moved a private member resolution, sir, that women must be given reservations in workplaces, in public sector as well as in private sector. 30%. In Tamil Nadu, 30%. In Tamil Nadu, sir, in schools, that too, in primary schools, all the teachers will be or must be only uh, women teachers. For two reasons. One is 
women teachers can teach their children in a way better than the teachers because they are, they are all very infant stage. Second is women will get more opportunity and more jobs by way of that. So all the teachers in primary schools will be uh, women and 30% reservation we are given to the employ in the employment also. So this, these things will encourage uh, the, uh, the, the women community in a way. That's why I started that. We were the first government to give voting right to the women in the year 1921 itself and our successive DMK governments from 1969 onwards, whenever we happen to be in power, we have announced so many schemes. So you should keep in mind two things. Again, I would like to say very precisely, no section of this country should have a fear that because of this they will be punished, that they will be targeted. Number two, any state that implements such policies successfully should not be punished Rather, they should be encouraged by way of giving more incentives and more schemes. And revenue shares should also not be reduced because of the population size has come down. And girl children also should be given more encouragement. These are the things I would like to say, sir. So the bill, as I said, may appear to say something good. It should not have something otherwise underneath. So, sir, the fam family planning is very much essential rather to be controlled. But when we are doing it in the right manner, it must be encouraged, but not in any other manner. Thank you very much. Thank you.